got dinner you are all welcome back to my channel I'm Jason and in today's lesson what we're going to be doing is the old triangle so let's get into it so guys there are five chords in this song you have G C A B minor and D if you know those chords skip ahead to where we get into the strumming of the song and if not stick with me here and I'll show you how to play those chords now okay let's start off with G first so it's in the second box the string 5 or the A string in the third box the very top string E and the very bottom string also E then we have C, so in the first box it's string 2 or B string, second box it's string 4 or D string, and third box it's string A or the fifth string. Then we have an A chord, so all in the second box, D, G and B, A all together. D, G and B all together. Then we have our D chord, so second box, string 3 or G string, second box, string E or first string, and third box, string B or second string. And when you're playing D, always try to hit the bottom four strings. If you're a beginner, it doesn't matter if you hit all of them, but as you get more advanced or intermediate, you can start just focusing on hitting the bottom four strings. Then we have our B minor chord. Now there are two variations. We have a chord and a bar chord. So the chord starts in box two on string one or E, box three, B string or string three, and in the fourth box, it's D and G, four and three. And just like D, if you're just playing the chord, only strum the bottom four strings. But if you're doing the bar chord, straighten that first finger to cover all of box two. And you can now strum all the strings. Okay, so if it's just the chord, so your first finger on box two, little e. Bottom four strings. If it's a bar chord, feel free to strum all six strings. Okay, they are the five chords we're going to need. Let's get into the song. So the chord progression of the song you will see pop up here it is only four lines. You have your G, G, B minor, B minor, your C, G, A, C, G, G, B minor, B minor, and then C, G, D, and G to finish. So the first two lines are going to be the verse. The new verse every single time is going to be the first two lines. And the second two lines is going to be the chorus where you come in on the old triangle. That's where you come in on the chorus. So let's start off on the top. We have G. The strumming pattern is down, one, two, three, four. And it's two times for every single chord. So it's two times for the first G and two times for the second G. So go into G and strum it four times. One, two, three, four. Then go into your B minor chord or bar chord. And again, you have two B minors, two strumming patterns per chord. So it's four strumming patterns again. One, two, three, four. Then we have our C chord next. So there's only one C, so that means two strumming patterns. One, two, and then G. One, two, A, one, two, and C. One, two. Now if you're finding this strum pattern hard, you can go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just to practice. And then one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and and that's how you go from uh, practice into the main song. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. When you have the hang of that, then just one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. Okay, it's like a three, four timing, a waltz timing. Then we are into the chorus where everyone joins in for the old triangle. So we have G and G again, and then B minor and B minor. So four string patterns for G and four for B minor. Two, three, four, one, two, And then all the chords on the bottom just have two string patterns each. That's your C, G, D, and G. So two for C. One, two, G. One, two, D. One, two, and G. One, two. And that is all there is to this song. All those chords and that strumming pattern. Now, if you want to play along with the actual tune, you don't need a capo. I've released some covers onto SoundCloud and I'll put a link down in the description below that you can follow. So we have the full backing track for this song, The Old Triangle. Then I put up multiple variations, each missing an instrument. So if you're learning the drums, you can play the version missing the drums. If you're learning the strumming on the guitar, you can play the version with no strumming. So each variation depends on what instrument you're learning. Obviously, the guitar is going to be the main one. 
but you have the full cover so you can listen and hear what all the instruments sound like together and then you can look for the version that's missing the instrument that you play and you fill in as the musician in that part. So I'll share the link in the description below, below. that's SoundCloud and just the old triangle full backing track. There are six verses and in between every single verse I do four G's. So I do two full G chords. So I go one, two, three, four and then I start singing. So everything you see here beside me, I put four G's before that every single time. And by four G's, I mean two full chords with two string patterns each. So before I start playing this beside me, I go G1, two, three, four. And then I start playing all of this beside me. And that's the same for all of the verses. All six verses in the backing track have that four G intro and then all of this beside me. And that's how it's done. So guys, head over to SoundCloud, listen to that back and track, try and play along if you can. It's the best way of getting practice to keep, uh, keep your tempo at the same speed instead of going fast and slow. Um, also, if you play through the song just once, you're going to be playing this whole thing about six times. So that gives you loads of practice instead of sitting down and just playing over and over and over again. At least you can then hear the song in the background. And I'll also be releasing a cover so you can check that out and see what it sounds like with all the vocals in there. But guys, that is it for today. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time.